Hello everyone, this is Blue. Blue, say hello. Good morning everyone. You go straight on, Stephen? To get to car parking? No, you go in here, do you? Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, it's all open, isn't it? Okay. Okay. That's lucky because I'm just going past. Yeah, it is this way. Oh, Steve and I are just on our way up to Westfield. It is a very rainy day today, so we thought we'd go somewhere that has indoor shops. <laughs> um, we are going to look for some outfits for Coachella. We're also now going on the tunnel, so I'm probably going to go dark. It should adjust you. Is it going to? Cool. No. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, and no, I'm just red. But. Yeah, so we we were looking at our stuff and we there's a few items that I think that we need to pick up for Coachella. So, we thought we'd take advantage of this rainy day and come and do some shopping. But I thought I'd bring you guys with us. Are you excited? I am excited, actually. I feel like that's my, like, always my question to you. <laughs> In every And it's vlog. always the same answer. Yeah. I am excited, actually. I am, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's really excited. Yeah, no, I'm excited, actually. And also, we picked the right place because we were going to go to Kingston. But which is nearer yeah which is a lot nearer but obviously yeah. we then we have to be out in the rain so we're gonna get some food here yes. and wander around the shops because yes. they have more to offer here anyway yes and also food. make a day of it oh, get some great. food i'm starving <laughs> we are just queuing for the car park right now how's your tattoo good hasn't hasn't put, been live on my channel yet so i don't know when that's going out but it should be by then <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was not feeling that shopping trip at all today. I think when you have one of those days where you're like, get in the changing room, try something on, you're like, mm -mm, mm -mm. So my main intention was to vlog in the changing rooms. I just wasn't feeling that self-confident today. Um, I did pick up a few bits, which I will show you when we get home. But it was crazy busy. We forgot it was Easter holidays, so yeah, it was a little bit. It was much. a bit. It was a bit hectic, wasn't it, Stephen? Yeah, it was nice to be back in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but we did pick up some things. Um, I'm gonna head back now. What's really nice is it's still light. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, it is a few hours later now. Steve and I have been watching this new series on Netflix, which is called The Defiant Ones, and it's all about the history between Dr. Dre and Jimmy. How do you say his last name? Irvine? Uh, Irvine. I Irvine. But it's so interesting, and we are now on the final episode. While we've been watching that, we've been <laughs> we've been scrolling through houses in the area because we've got back on the kind of house side. I think we felt a little bit like, I don't know, like not dejected, but just kind of like that's not even a word, but like a little bit. Dejected. It's dejected. I, don't ask me. I, I don't even know what you I'm a little bit tired. Um, we just felt a little bit like, I don't know, that we'd give the like house hunting a break for, for now. My hair is really good right now as well. <laughs> We're gonna go find, go to a house basically that we have found because it's really close to like a really busy road. But we want to see how busy it is. We always just like choosing houses by roads. <laughs> oh yeah, because you said it in your last vlog, didn't you? Because that's all we can afford. Yeah. Um, also, what you said about this outfit. I was thinking about doing this as a blog post, right? Yeah. I don't think you're in focus. Don't worry about it. It don't need to be. <laughs> So Steve's got his dressing gown on. You've got your dressing gown on. I've got on. my dressing gown on and my puffer on and we are taking these guys for, the for a little adventure. Are you guys ready? You wanna go? Yeah? Come on. You ready? Yeah? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, but this is a really good series. If you are looking for a new series to watch, it's, it's really fantastic. interesting. It's there's so much history in it. Put them in. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Stephen. Okay, well. <laughs> so if you guys didn't watch Steve's vlog, we live in an area called Surrey, which is about 40 minutes outside of London. And the specific area that we bought our flat in is actually really expensive. We managed to get our flat and an older man actually moved out and went to a care home. And he hadn't updated his flat in about 30 years. Yeah, definitely more. Yeah, so like we, it was like a deal wrapper, and we've now done it up. Um, but we've lived there now for five years, and we've have just recently started, obviously looking for new houses and like looking around, but looking further out because we can't actually afford to buy a house in our area, which is fine. Like we're just gonna go and move further out where it's le a little less close to town, which is absolutely fine. We've been looking over the last few weeks and we found like a couple this week. We're going to see two on Saturday, which is very exciting. But obviously it's a little bit harder now because both Steve and I are both self-employed. Um, so it makes it a little bit harder to get a mortgage. But we 
hope that it should be okay once we find somewhere and once we put our flat on the market. I think, do you know what I was, was going to say? I was just thinking as I was hearing you speak. Yeah. I think what's funny with buying a house, yeah. and some of you guys out there that have bought a house will know this, like, I feel like you, because it's quite a stressful thing. It's quite exciting, but it's quite stressful because it's not like an overnight thing. Yeah. You know, you know, you're kind of waiting for the perfect house to come up. You obviously have to sell your house. There's loads of legality involved in selling a house and buying a house. Um, there's basically loads of boxes to tick. So you go. Yeah. I feel like we go on like really excited, really excited, and then just chill for a bit because <laughs> yeah. it's like all so much. And that's much. what we've done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because Alex and I are looking in very specific areas. Mm -hmm. Like houses don't come up that frequently or if they do come up they go really quickly exactly they go super quickly. which is quite interesting yeah the one that we're going to see now is uh, one that we're seeing on saturday which is very exciting um but obviously we are being adults and wearing our dressing gowns while going to see the house <laughs> um but i feel like that's just the way we should do it from now on every house we go see we should uh wear our dressing gowns I yeah. think that'll take us really seriously. Yeah, quite it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Would we like to buy your house? Please buy this house. Uh, you're in your dressing ground, mate. <laughs> dressing ground. Dressing <laughs> ground, mate. <laughs> but I'll update you when we're outside listening to the road. Okay, guys. We're on our way back. The house. Really nice. There was also someone in there, so we didn't stick around we outside. Scared. We got a little bit scared, but the road wasn't actually that noisy, which is a bonus. But I think we need to go and obviously like look at it and see how, if you can hear the road from inside the house. So we're excited. We'll go see that on Saturday. Nice little uh, eleven thirty road trip for us in our dressing gowns. And now we're headed back to watch the last episode of I can't remember Defiant the ones. name. <laughs> the Defiant Ones. <laughs> Only you can help me to forget the terror of being alive a little while, of being alive a little while. Only you can help me to forget the terror of being alive a little while, of being alive a little while. Good morning everyone. Look how tired my eyes are. Steve and I stayed up after our little midnight adventure last night and watched the last episode of The Defiant Ones, which is really good, but we have finished the series, so tonight I'm gonna go to bed early. Yeah, we just got up. I am waiting today for the prints because they're coming. So that's quite exciting and also the packaging to send them out in, which is always handy. But they're both on like before 12 delivery, so it's like between like nine and 12. So I am just up doing work and then I'm waiting for those but I'm excited to see them. Anyone that's been waiting for a print they are on their way out to you today. We had such a delay with the printers which is just really annoying but I'm so glad and happy that they are now coming to us this morning because it's a little bit stressful and I hate being like late on things and stuff like that so yes they are now ready to go but first I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and try and wake myself up a little bit. While I clean up our really messy kitchen I am also going to listen to a new podcast. I've got a new podcast for you guys right it is called thanks to my friend Chadney fellow crime podcast lover she keeps texting me and sending me recommendations which is amazing because recently i haven't had time to research any new ones okay so this one is called okay so the podcast is called missing and murdered which is very cheery really interesting so i'm actually just new to the first series of it which is about a girl that went missing called alberta interesting thing about her story is is that it starts off with the first episode with the person that the police thought had murdered her, they send like an email to the broadcasting station and say, we think this person has murdered her. So they kind of know or have an inkling of who it was from the start. I just got to the episode where they actually go and confront the person that um, was supposedly did it. It's really good. I'll put the link down in the description if you're interested in it. I took a break for a while from like murdery podcasts just because they are they are actually really dark. This one is actually very interesting. Okay, we're back in the car again. We have just sneaked out. We're actually, all the prints arrived and they look amazing. So good. They look yeah. so good, don't they? Oh man, it was such a delay getting them. I am happy that they've all arrived. They but all we've good got time. them yeah. and we're packing this afternoon. We're just going out to get some ink cartridges for the printer. Um, but Steve has convinced me to go visit the house again. 
Because, right? Okay, here's, here's okay, the, apparently he's got a thing. Okay, it's really raining today. Mm -hmm. And it's a main road, so it's going to be the loudest it's ever going to be when it's raining. It's also like kind of in the middle of the day, so it's going to be like super busy. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to see the house right now with the worst possible noise Conditions. levels. Yeah. yeah, and I think if we go there and it's like, oh, that's okay, like you can live with that. Yeah. So obviously we do get a lot of rain in the UK, so it's a good factor. Mm -hmm. um, then I think that it gives us a bit of a head start because obviously we're going to go and see it. But it gives us a bit of a head start into thinking like, like getting over the road aspect of it. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're also going out to get some lunch, and then back home. Steve's got a gym session. That's why he's in his gym gear. He's yes. not just being a person that wears athleisure on a date. Yeah, where's my skinny latte? <laughs> my athleisure. My avocado on toast. Um, avocado. 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 So I literally got you balanced on my coffee table. I thought I would take you through all the little items that I bought yesterday at Westfield. So my first item is actually from H and M. It is a denim jacket, but. Look how cute it is, it's embroidered. And in LA and in the desert, in the evenings it gets really cold. So I just thought that it would be nice, like a nice little thing just to like put over any outfit. Also it's got a really cute little like flower embroidered when you turn up the cuff. The back of it's really nice as well. My next item, I'm not actually gonna try on because it's a bikini, but it's from Cos. And I've seen their swimwear over the, like the last couple of years on Instagram and stuff. And I've always thought it was really nice because it's quite plain and minimal and like not like your normal like really loud bikinis. Like compared to the other things that Cos sells, I think their swimwear is actually quite reasonable. So this was £19 and I think these were £24. So I really like the fact it was quite affordable. I've just dropped the top. <laughs> but these are the bottoms and basically they are high-waisted and they're like a really cool like forest green. And I just thought it was nice because I am not super tanned at the moment. I didn't really want to wear like a white bikini. Also, I feel like the high-waisted just made me feel like a little bit more confident. And I tried on a swimsuit and I just felt like the swimsuit was a little bit because I'm sure I felt like this swimsuit made me look shorter, which is probably like a really silly thing to think. But I like the fact that I've got like a little bit of a gap in a bikini and these high-waisted are like an in-between between a swimsuit and like a normal bikini. And then the top, which is super simple, and I think you can remove the arms as well, and then it's elasticated at the back, so you feel really secure in it. I really, really like this, and it's something that I've been looking for for a while and I'm really excited to wear it. So yeah, bikini from Cos. So the next one is a little bit random, however, I have found it's an essential when you go to Coachella. So obviously it's in the desert, and the first year there was actually a sandstorm, and we actually bought a bandana like there, because obviously people wear them around their faces just to stop the sand from getting in your lungs. The only thing with the, the ones that you buy there is they actually kind of, the dye comes off them, which is really annoying, especially if you're wearing like suntan lotion or anything like that. So I have bought, a bandana from Levi's and C bought some jeans from Levi's yesterday and normally these bandanas are like 30 quid and I was like I can't justify paying 30 quid for a little square of cotton but these were reduced so this one was actually 11 pounds and then C bought one I think his was like seven or something and they're really really soft which is really nice the other ones that we bought from the festival itself are kind of starchy and not very nice to put on your face okay so my next item is a top that I got from Zara and I tried on about 13 items in Zara and I don't know why and I don't know whether I was just having an off day but nothing really fitted me properly and the, the, the fashion at the moment is like really long dresses which is great if you're like six foot but if you're five foot two um, doesn't really suit you but I found this and it's really really nice and it looks quite open at the front but if you tuck it into trousers and stuff like that it's actually a really really nice piece. So this is my like kind of top pick. Also, the polka dots are kind of like a velvet, which is quite cool. I quite like the fact that it's like the sheer fabric and then the velvet polka dots. My next item is this dress from Bershka. Kind of mid-length and it's got slits up the side. But I just thought it's a really nice like kind of like jersey cotton material. And it's not too thin and it's not see-through, which is good. And I like the candy stripes on it as well. I think it's like kind of like a fun, happy thing. And at the moment, I've been wearing so many like dark neutral colours that I'm like, I just need a little bit of colour in my life. So yes, got that candy stripe dress. So the other things I got from H&M are just some basic tops. I think H&M are quite good for like basics. So I've got this pink top, which is kind of like a cropped thing, which I've got like these three people cut off 
um, white jeans, which are kind of like flared but cropped. And I love them, and I've done a couple of blog posts in them as well, but I thought this would be really nice to go with them. And then they do these range, which I wish I'd got in the other colors as well. They do like these little kind of like high neck like t-shirts, which I think are really nice, and they fit really nicely, especially if like you're wearing like patterned trousers or something like that. that that's a really nice kind of combo. So yeah, I've got these. And then my next two items I actually got from Pull and Bear. These, which are, if you guys saw a couple of weeks ago, I posted an Instagram with like some polka dot trousers from Zara. And these I feel like are the striped version. <laughs> um, but they're really nice. They're kind of like just like a casual kind of like, you could dress them up for the evening, but you could get away with like just wearing them, I don't know, to the beach or they're quite lightweight. The only thing I would say is they are quite sheer. So don't wear any big pants with them. And then this, which I absolutely love and I haven't bought like a long skirt like this since I was like a teenager like normally I'm in like trousers and uh, like well basically this I thought okay let's look out a little bit and get a skirt but I thought this would be really nice with just like a casual t-shirt or like white t-shirt tucked in or like tied in a knot at the front and it's a really good length on me actually and I really like the kind of like the way it's pleated and the candy stripe I just think it's really nice so, they are my items, that is my haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little Coachella haul. I haven't actually got any outfits for Coachella, apart from a bandana and a jacket, but I feel like I'm like nearly there. Also, I feel like in LA, we'll probably do a little trip to Forever 21 and I'll find something there as well. So I'm not stressing too much. Also, Coachella is more about actually just going and enjoying the music. So yes, I will be trying to get those Instagrams, but at the same time, we are actually just going to chill out, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, that's my little haul. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog. Tomorrow is Good Friday and Steve and I are sorting out the flat because we have got big plans and we're going to visit that house on Saturday which we've been stalking for the last two days like creeps. I hope you guys are having awesome weeks and I will see you next week for another vlog. Goodbye! <laughs>